Hey everybody, John with OWL, and today I want to talk about batteries. Not the batteries you're probably thinking of, and that's the batteries that power the living section of your Sprinter or Revel or Storyteller. Today I want to talk about the chassis battery. That's the battery that resides right in here, if you didn't know, right in here under your feet. That's where the chassis battery is. And why do I want to talk about those? Well, because I came across a new battery that for me had some features that were just brilliant and are really going to save you a lot of hassle if you ever park your Sprinter uh, in the off season. So let's talk about those batteries. So first let's talk about a stock Sprinter battery. So this is a battery that came out of this uh, Sprinter. I think this battery is the third battery in that van in probably four years, uh, three years maybe. These run about two, three hundred dollars a piece. They're AGM. Uh, it's basically very similar to lead acid. They both function the same way and uh, I won't go into the details of what makes an AGM different from a lead acid, but suffice it to say that AGMs are better than lead acid, but not that much better. And that's why everybody really goes to lithium, which is this battery here. But this battery is a lot more than just lithium and we'll talk about that in a moment. Now, first of all, what are the drawbacks of an AGM? Well, they're heavy. That's probably about 75 pounds, maybe 60 to 75 pounds. This battery, I haven't weighed it, but dramatically less, maybe 15 pounds. Uh, that's right off the start. Now, I know these are big heavy vans, blah, 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 but if you get the opportunity to save some weight, that stuff adds up. So, you know, you save 60 pounds on your battery, that's 60 pounds you can use somewhere else, or 60 pounds you don't have to lug around. But weight saving is not really the big benefit here. When we talk about lead acid and AGM batteries, one of the problems with them is they're really only half a battery. And what I mean by that is this battery is stated as 95 amp hours, but realistically you can only run a battery that's lead acid or AGM down halfway before it starts damaging it. So basically you have half of that amp hour. So it's not 95 amp hours. Really it's, you know, high forties. And I think it's important you know that as you compare these batteries, because this battery is 80 amp hours of lithium, but 80 amp hours of lithium are actually a full 80 amp hour. So you're actually almost double the battery capacity here, even though this is an 80 amp hour lithium, as opposed to a 95 amp hour AGM. So already you've got double the chassis battery. The other nice feature of this battery, cold cranking amps. That's when you're starting the battery. This is 2000 cold cranking amps, as opposed to here we have under a thousand, it's 900 cold cranking amps. So definitely no context, contest there. Here's the real reason I wanted to do this video, and that is because this battery has a nifty little gadget built in. They call it the Restart Built-In Jump Starter. If you have a classic car, maybe an exotic car if you're lucky, or a Sprinter van that's parked for a while in the off-season, let's say you park it for two, three months, you put it in storage in the off-season when you don't use it, maybe you don't have an off-season and you're lucky and you can travel year-round. But for a lot of us that park our vans for periods of time, uh, a big problem is pure parasitic draw. So the van is always gonna be taking some current out of the battery as it sits there. And unless you go into the hassle of disconnecting the battery, you have to put the vehicle on a battery tender or you risk showing up and the battery's dead. And worse, if the battery in your chassis is dead, you've damaged it. Because anytime you run an AGM or a lead acid down to zero, you're damaging that battery, which means that even once you get it charged back up, it's not gonna work very well. And you do that a few times and the battery's toast, another two, 300 bucks is gonna be dropped on a battery. Lithium batteries are not like that. You can run a lithium battery down to zero, charge it back up just like your iPhone. No bubbles, no troubles, as they say. So that is a major advantage of lithium, but this has that nifty gadget I wanted to tell you about. And that is because this battery gets around ever having to plug this van into a trickle charger or worry about it going dead. You see, when this battery reaches a certain percentage of its overall charge, when it drops down to that because of the parasitic drain, it will shut the battery off. It will disconnect the battery from the chassis with about six engine starts left. So what that does is at once it reaches that level, it totally cuts it off. And then each, uh, it's called an anti-gravity battery, by the way. Each anti-gravity lithium battery comes with two remotes. So what you do is you throw this in your van somewhere or on your keychain if you want, and you walk up to your van, it's been sitting in storage for four months, it's dead as a doornail. Well, it's not dead because you have an anti-gravity battery. So you click this button once, that releases the remaining charge in the battery, or at least it allows access to. 
and you've got about six starts of your van uh, with the amount of power that's left in the battery. Now you really shouldn't need six, you really need one. Start it up, let it run for a while, and charge that battery up. So I absolutely fell in love with that feature because once you install this battery, you will never have a dead van again. And anyone that's ever left a light on, you're in the middle of nowhere, and all of a sudden you wake up in the morning and your headlights were on and you didn't realize it when you went to bed and you're dead in the water. Again, won't ever happen with this battery. Uh, I just think that's absolutely brilliant. And it's one of the reasons I wanted to, to start selling these batteries. In addition, you've got the added capacity. When you've got a system like this, you could, let's say you've got like a beatbox stereo like we do in our van. You're at the campsite, you wanna rock some tunes, crank it up, you're using the chassis battery for that. You don't wanna idle the engine. You can literally just leave it on. When it finally dies, it will save you that remaining amount of power so you can start your van in the morning. It's absolutely fantastic. So major win there for this battery. The other thing about this battery, meant to last 10 years. I mentioned I've been through two or three batteries in three years on this van, mostly because it sits. It sits in our shop, people open and close the doors, the lights come on, etc. These get toasted. So this battery, 10 years, you gotta figure this is a lot more expensive. You know, it's three or four times the price, but if you're gonna go through five or six of these, and this will last 10 years, it starts to actually be lower cost of operating operating in the long run. So anyway, again, anti-gravity battery, it's 80 amp hours of lithium, it drops right in. So you can just pop up the plate inside under your floor mat, it drops right in, hooks up to all of um, you know the factory terminals, etc. So really, really easy install if you haven't done it before. And just a couple more words on this. I know what people are gonna say, what about starting this van, starting the van in the cold? Well. The person that uh, owns this company actually lives in Wisconsin. It frequently gets to well into the negatives there and he has never had an issue with starting. But if you do uh, have an extremely cold situation, there's a couple things that are gonna benefit you. One, you can actually warm the battery up. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but you can turn your headlights on. And normally that wouldn't be a good thing for a battery, but for these that will warm the battery up and allow you to start the vehicle. Uh, the other thing you need to keep in mind is that it's right below your feet in the driver footwell. So, if it's negative 10 degrees outside, but you've got your van diesel heater on in your vehicle, well, that's gonna transfer through and it's gonna keep that battery much, much warmer than that outside air temperature. It's also not getting any wind. So if there's a wind chill, it's not getting that, that biting wind. So uh, battery functions really, really well in cold weather. Um, I would say if you're going into negative 20, negative 30, different scenario, I think you're gonna have to prepare differently for that use case anyway, with some anti-gel for your diesel, et cetera. But, in normal use that everyone is gonna see, you know, negative five up to 115 like we get to here in Arizona, this battery is gonna meet all of your needs. So you can find these on our website right now. It is called an anti-gravity battery. It drops right in in place of the chassis battery on your Sprinter. And if you think that this system of never having a dead van again is as cool as I do, then you should put this as one of your next purchases. Thanks so much.